Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are well. By the grace of Almighty Allah, I am also well. I would like to introduce myself with you. This is Muhammad Abdul Hanan, Assistant Professor in English in General Section at Shamim and Shakil Technical College, Govindagans, Gaibanda. My dear students, we all know that coronavirus disease is an infectious disease caused by newly discovered coronavirus. The remedy for coronavirus has not yet been discovered. So, we are passing through a very dangerous period. We have to pass our days and daily activities very carefully to keep ourselves away from this disease. In these circumstances, our education ministry has already instructed us to conduct classes through online. In the online opening class, I would like to discuss English first paper, Unit 1, Lesson 2. The unforgettable history. Actually, this passage deals with the unforgettable significance of 7th Mars speech. Dear students, all of you know that Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman is the founding father of Bangladesh. The name of Bangabandhu comes first if the name of Bangladesh is uttered. He was one of the most remarkable and greatest political leaders, not only in Bangladesh, but also in the world. He was determined to liberate Bangladesh from the oppressive roots of Pakistan. Our great leader, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, engaged himself into the language movement. With the imposition of martial law in 1958, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman was arrested and kept determined without trial. In 1969, he submitted the historic six points for the self-determination of the country and he was imprisoned by Ayub Khan government. After the mass uprising in 1969, he was released. And then he addressed a public gathering at the race course ground in Dhaka on 7th March 1971. The historic 7th March speech bears a great significance for the independence of Bangladesh. It is also the most remarkable and unforgettable speech in the history of Bangladesh. The starting point of the speech is touching because his love for the nation is very much clear in it. The speech represented before the faults and atrocities perpetuated by the then West Pakistan rulers. Actually, the people of East Pakistan were deprived of all kinds of basic rights. Bengalis were oppressed inhumanly by the Pakistan rulers. They could not enjoy economic freedom, political freedom, cultural freedom and freedom of speech. Bengali's history of those days says that it was full of natural, um, it was full of torture inflicted on the people. Since 1947, Bengalis had to pass their days in an agony for almost 23 years. The seventh March speech was the core inspiration of our liberation war. In this speech, he reminded us that Bangabandhu wanted the people to have their rights 
other than the office of the prime minister. Of course, he wanted the power to be handed over the elected representatives. The Pakistan rulers were not interested to transfer power to the winning party. Instead, they started different conspiracies against the Bengalis. In the Nyanmar conference, they just killed the time and carried on bloodshed on the innocent Bengalis. The speech inspired the Bengalis to prepare for a war of independence. Bangabandhu delivered the speech when tensions were increasing. In the speech, he called on the freedom loving Bengalis to wage a decisive struggle against the Pakistan operation. Following the speech, people across the country continued to raise the slogans In the last sentence of the speech, the great leader stressed on the fulfillment of the legal rights of Bangladesh. He urged everyone to stick on their demand and if required, embrace that for the greater interest of the nation. Finally, Bengali nation took up arms for liberation. In fact, the speech raised a sleeping nation and transformed it to a fighting force. They came out from home to fight against Pakistan with what they had. At last, after the bloody war of nine months, we achieved our independence. So, the significance of na 7th March speech is really unforgettable and beyond measure. Recently, this speech has been recognized by the UNESCO as a part of World Documentary Heritage. So, all the people of Bangladesh should remember him and his speech with great respect for achieving our independence. No more.